Carlo Ancelotti is flirting with Brazil to be their next coach and their chances of winning the La Liga are kind of gone. So, who do you think will success him in the summer? Well, let's talk about it. Coming at number 8, it's going to be Jose Mourinho and um, yeah, I think it will be quite a romantic thing when Jose Mourinho gets his big squad back gets a big team you know the redemption story just got napoli um ac milan um ac roma ac roma as roma where they are right now they're doing bits over there but obviously there's just that impact that i feel like even though i would like it but then i don't think that will actually happen and obviously Right now, Real Madrid will be wanting a modern manager who's got a certain style of play. Even though I feel like Mourinho has backed up the way he's played, he's played some sublime football. So yeah, I really do feel like Mourinho might not get the job, but he's in co He's the, up there um, as a manager. So yeah. Coming at number seven, it's Antonio Conte, and what can I say? Antonio Conte is just a serial winner, and so he won nothing at all. But it doesn't change the fact that he's actually a great manager when it comes to actually winning trophies. And even though he doesn't have an upper hand when it comes to the Champions League, where Real Madrid loves the most, he hasn't won a Champions League with any team that he's managed. And even though he's a great winner of leagues. I just don't know about him coming to a team and actually rebuilding a squad because this Real Madrid squad are kind of lacking on the department of rebuilding. You know, they need to start getting up some old players out and getting in some new players. And they're not a lot. So that transitional period will be quite an interesting period, obviously. And um, yeah, so I don't really know about Conte, but yeah. Coming at number six though, is the Raul and I feel like Raul being Zidane type of stature whereby he's an interesting young manager coming up and you will be given that chance to manage this big giant club given this take take a risk on this manager. Zinedine Zidane didn't actually have any prior experience before actually just managing the Real Madrid B and he jumped down to the biggest squad and still did massive amazing. So yeah so I personally feel like that might just happen again in this regard. So yeah. Coming at number five, Julian Nagos, man. Even though a lot of people rate this man, I'm kind of bit you know I'm not so Nagos. I'm not in the camp for Nagos man that much. But he's still the top manager, and he will get those Real Madrid players running fast football that is just so quick. And it would look mint and these are some top players but he's he been able to do a rebuild to a team <coughs> he has managed a giant team and a smaller team a smaller smaller team but has he managed a giant team and actually been able to do a rebuild i'm not sure about that even though yes you could say him in 2021 season, he was actually rebuilding. He bought a bunch of players, integrated them well, and they bedded very well. But for me, the team was still already great. The likes of Thomas Mola was still there. And the team was just the team before he the team he inherited was already winning Champions Leagues, was already winning um the Bundesliga. So him I just don't see him being, you know up there yeah i rate him but at the same time i just don't overrate him type thing Xavi alonso is an interesting shout coming at number five ah four i think Xavi alonso will be not too tempted to get the job i feel like he's the best one if it was me between me and you if it's Raul or Shabi, I'll go for Shabi because he's a central midfielder or defensive midfielder. He's played in that central mid, and a lot of these players that play either defense or central midfield usually do very well as managers. And I think like Shabi will be a great manager. He's doing bits at Leverkusen. I mean, he literally won a game seven now, so that just tells you a lot about him. And he's up there. 
so i feel like it's gonna be interesting i would definitely lean towards sharp more than Bali. yeah come in number three it's gonna be a weird shout and why are you putting this man but let's hear me out three is pochentino why poch well he's rebuilt a squad a great squad a squad that actually went to a final champion league final did they win no Manager squad that actually nearly won the Premier League. I mean, I think it was third. So yeah. So while Pochettino doesn't have experience in winning, but he's experienced in building teams that actually can compete. I think that's a low key. That's a, that's with on a budget. But I think that's an amazing um because this team, this Real Madrid squad, will need a manager that's coming in and trying to really refreshing up a lot of things so i really feel like sh like poch would be a good shout but the winning part the winning of trophies part is quite i know he, he has a league on and he has like that cup of theirs but really we're talking about team that wins that thing every single year so yeah and you can technically say his first season he didn't even win it so yeah number two I think it's quite obvious it's in it Zidane. Zidane. i think he's just naturally the one you kind of get if you're real madrid i would actually say he might be actually on top of that list because Zinedine Zidane is no he doesn't have work he doesn't want to go to psg his dream job they just gave him a, a contract extension so he's going to be sitting there up until 2026 and what can he be doing up until 26 you know what he's going to be doing at 26 2026 he's gonna be managing real madrid i mean it makes it makes so much sense so i feel like for now and the squad way it is it needs a manager who's experienced and who understands winning get a couple of players in that team and zinedine zidane will show you what these players can do i think he's experienced 2016 where there were young players inside the squad and needed experience and he dealt with that team so well so yeah I think Zinedine Zidane will naturally just become the manager. I don't know if he will, but I feel like Perez, Benjamin Perez, will kind of flirt with the idea to him. So yeah. <coughs> Number one for me, the one that I feel like will be at the top squad is Ruben Amerui Anorim. Anorim, I think. Butcher that name. Sorry, Ruben. But for Ben, I think he will do a magic magnificent job because well he's the first yeah, he's one of the fewest managers that went undefeated in the portuguese league with that sporting uh lisbon team and not just that he was able to extract the most out of that squad in the champions league he even went toe to toe with that ixt that Teg hog ixt even though benfica actually beat them i mean okay technically yeah but still He's an amazing manager. He's not doing. They're not doing well in this season, but Sporting are still amazing. I mean, they beat Arsenal in the Europa League. So why not get yourself a counter-attacking manager who understands counter-attacking football and who can actually bet these players very well? I can see that Alba, um, Budaga, Edemilitao back three with that midfield of five players with two strikers in front. I mean, I can see that happening. But that's just my thoughts. And what are your thoughts? Who do you think will actually be the Real Madrid manager come uh, next season? So yeah, I've been definitely been your boy Uncle Bobby, and um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, see you.